All right. 1.3. Gamma manufacturers, the business manufactures security gates. The financial year end is 31st August 2018. Calculate the break even point for the year end at 31st August 2018. So here we are calculating the break even point. The formula is total fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So the total fixed cost, we need to look for the total fixed cost here. So do we have the variable cost, which is 242340 but the total fixed cost, it is made up. The fixed cost is factory overheads of 67200 plus um, the administration cost of 51660 all this is over the selling price per unit is 910 selling price per unit is 910 minus the variable cost per unit variable cost per unit is 577 right all this information is given in information a and b the fixed cost, you must always remember that factory overheads and administration cost is regarded as fixed cost and direct materials, direct labor cost and selling and distribution, they are regarded as variable cost. So 67,200 plus 51,660 equals to 118,860. All this is over. 910 minus 577 equals to 333. So 118,860 divided by 118,860 divided by 333 equals to 356.9. So that's 350. 7 units or 356.9 so the break even point is 356.9 rounded off to 357 units if the break even point the number of units that must be made and sold if the break even point is 357 units then let's look at the total number of units produced the total number of units produced and sold here is 420 units. And this then leads us to 1.3.2, which says compare and comment on the break-even point and the production level achieved over the last two years, quote figures. So what we can see here now in 1.3.2 is that the business has made profit. The business has made profit has made profit of how many units let's compare 357 this made profit of let's say our total number of units produced for 2018 total number of units is 420 420 minus the break-even point of 357 420 minus 357 420 minus 357 the business has made a profit of 63 units the business has made a profit of 63 units but we are also then concerned that the production levels has decreased the production levels we are also concerned even though we have made this profit of 63 units but the production the production decreased here we are concerned about that the production decreased from from 540 units we are also adding that because we are looking at the number of uh, the, 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 the marks allocated which is six marks production decreased from 540 units to 420 units to 420 units so even though the business has made a profit considering the break-even point but we are also concerned that production has decreased from 540 units to 420 units and this then 
uh, lead us to the last question uh, of under 1.3. 1.3.3 Give two reasons for the increase in the direct material cost suggest one way to control this cost So we have got two reasons for the increase in direct material cost If you look at the direct material cost per unit it increased from 148 to 180 per unit So we need to pro to provide two reasons which may cause this increase. The first one will be maybe a wastage of material. Wastage of material. And then maybe the strategy, because we are told the one way to control this cost. How can we then control this cost? If there is wastage of material, we need to provide training. Provide training to the workers to improve efficiency efficiency you need to provide training to the workers if there is wastage of material the cost the material cost will increase and therefore if we want to deal with this and be able to control it we need to provide training to the workers to make sure that they improve the efficiency and another thing which may also lead to this increase in the direct material cost it is when we are using poor quality of material poor quality of material and as a result uh, the material the cost will increase if it's poor quality you cut the material and you realize that maybe it's not good because of the quality poor quality of material and then to control that maybe you can consider changing the supplier change the supplier there is a lot that you can think of under this one you may even think that maybe uh, we people are stealing this material if they are stealing the material and as a result the cost increases you need to make sure that to deal with that you need to make sure that there is a regular physical count of stock so but they only require that we provide two reasons so these are the two reasons there may be so there may be other reasons like the one i'm mentioning when the the, the workers are stealing the material therefore they need to be a regular physical count of the material so this one uh, is then bringing us to the end of this question, which is question one taken from November 2018 exam. Thank you very much.